This video is going to talk about how we measure with degrees, minutes, and seconds. Now, one complete revolution contains 360 equal parts. Each part of this is called a degree. This is probably what you're familiar with in terms of measuring angles. 360 degrees completes one revolution, or that is a total number of degrees in a circle. However, we can divide a degree into smaller portions. Each degree can be divided into 60 equal parts. Each of these single parts are called minutes. Within that, we can take a minute and split it into 60 equal parts, and we call that a second. One thing I recommend to think about when we're visualizing what this actually means, think about how our clock works. There are 60 minutes into one hour, and within each of those minutes, there's going to be 60 seconds. So think of a degree sort of like an hour, and you can split an hour into 60 minutes, and then each of those minutes you can split up into seconds. So the focus on this video is going to be looking at how we can add, subtract, multiply, and divide degree measures that are more specific, meaning they're in degrees, minutes, and seconds. Here are two examples where we need to add two degree measures together, and again, they are in degrees, minutes, and seconds. You may be traditionally used to looking at something, for example, 36.5 degrees, and that is one possible way you can write an answer for a degree measure. However, what we're focusing on is this more precise measure. So in this situation, if I look at the fact that this is 36.5, 0.5 degrees is going to be half a degree, which means if I split that into minutes, there are 60 minutes in one degree, that means this is going to be 36 degrees and 30 minutes. The symbol for minutes is this single apostrophe, which is the same symbol used for feet. And the symbol for minutes, we'll say this is zero minutes, is going to be the symbol we traditionally use for inches, or the quote symbol. Okay? Now, normally you won't actually have to write zero minutes. If there are no minutes, or sorry, no seconds, if there are no seconds, you don't have to worry about the problem, um, adding that in. So if we look at this first problem, adding 32 degrees, 16 minutes, and 23 seconds, adding that to 46 degrees, 32 minutes, and 19 seconds. When you do that, I'm going to add this to get 42, add that to get 48, and I'm going to add that and get 78. So when I look at my final answer here, here's what you need to keep in mind. Just kind of like how we work our clock, if you have 61 minutes, 61 minutes on our clock is one hour and one minute. We group those 60 minutes into an hour. So if you ever have your seconds or your minute as a number greater than 60, you're going to need to regroup it just like we group our minutes and seconds when we talk about time. In this first problem, we don't have such an issue. Those numbers are less than 60, so that's simply what you need to do. You add seconds to seconds, minutes to minutes, and degrees to degrees. However, when we get to the second problem here, and I add this up, 36 and 39 gives me 75. I get 70 right here, and I get 61. This problem is not in simplest form because each of these measures, both of them actually, are over 60. So I need to group them into the next category. So if you start with the smallest measure here, which is 75 seconds, 75 seconds, think about a clock for a minute, is 1 minute and 15 seconds. So what I'm going to do is simply subtract 60 from this, and when I subtract 60 a full minute away, I need to add a minute over to this. So when I do that, that means I have 15 remaining seconds, and over here now, I have 71 minutes, and we'll leave that 61B. So my seconds are good to go. Now when I look at my minutes, I have 71 minutes. So if you were sitting in a 71-minute class, that's the same thing as saying 1 hour and 11 minutes. So as we're talking about degree measures here, that means this is going to be the same thing as 1 degree and 11 minutes. So we subtract those 60 minutes away, and by subtracting 60 minutes, I'm going to add a degree because those are equivalent forms. When I do that, I end up with 62 degrees. This now is 11 minutes, and I still have those 15 seconds left over here. So this is my simplified answer now. These numbers are certainly less than 60, so we're good to go. Obviously, degrees can be a much higher value because they go between 0 and 360. And even if you're above 360, you can have uh, degree measures larger than that. 
if we go to subtraction, we're going to have the same sort of issue, except the problem is going to lie in the beginning of the problem rather than the end. So if we look at a first, a simpler subtraction problem, you just, again, subtract seconds with seconds, minutes with minutes, and degrees with degrees. So here I'm going to get 14 seconds, I'm going to get 11 minutes, and I'm going to get 13 degrees. So quite simply, that's all you need to do for this problem. If I look at the next problem, here's my issue. I have 28 seconds and I'm subtracting 42 seconds from it. We cannot get a negative degree measure, so this must stay positive. So thinking back to elementary school when you learn how to subtract, you learn to group, you learn to borrow from larger values, and that's exactly what we're going to do here. I'm going to borrow a minute, so I'm going to turn that into 15 minutes, and by borrowing one minute, I'm now going to gain 60 seconds, because again, 60 seconds equals one minute. So this now becomes 88, and now I'm good to go. 88 minus 42 gives me 46 seconds. But now I have the same problem in my minutes column. I have 15 minutes, I have 47 minutes, I'm going to borrow a degree, so I make that 58, and by borrowing one degree, I will now have 60 additional minutes that I can add to this, making this 75. By doing that now, I get 28 minutes, 58 minus 29 is just a simple 29, and so here's my final answer for subtraction. The key with the subtraction problem is you cannot get negative degrees, minutes, and seconds as your solution. So if you have this issue, you need to borrow from the column to the left. And knowing, of course, there's 60 minutes in one, I'm sorry, 60 seconds in one minute and 60 minutes in one degree. Now as we take a look at multiplication of angles, you work this the same way as you would a multiplication problem. Now, this is sort of an unofficial distribution problem. I am taking this value of 35 degrees, 16 minutes, and 12 seconds, and I'm multiplying it by 2. Now, think about back to a simpler problem. If I have 18.5 degrees and I multiply it by 2, you don't just multiply the 18 and 2 and say, oh, the answer is 36.5. You multiply both the whole number and the decimal value together, and so that's actually going to give you 37 degrees as your answer. So you need to multiply not just this one term. So thinking about these as decimals, well, you need to multiply this 2 times everything. So you're unofficially distributing that 2 to every term. So here I get 70 degrees, I get 32 minutes, and I get 24 seconds. No problems with this, so I just simply had distributed the 2, and we call it a day. Of course, when I look at example 6 here, I'm not going to be so lucky with that work. So if I distribute this 3 to every term here, I'm going to get 108 degrees, I'm going to get 135 minutes, and I'm going to get 126 seconds. As mentioned earlier, we need to simplify my minutes and seconds so that they are a number under 60. If I have 126 seconds, well, one minute subtracted from that is going to give me 66. So actually, I can move over two whole minutes over to the minutes column. So if I subtract 120, which is equivalent to two minutes, I can simplify my right side now and say simply that I have six seconds. 135 plus 2 is 137, and that's going to be my minutes, and I still have my 108. So remember, if you have something, you group it into multiples of 60. So it can be 60, 120, 180, and so on and so forth. Now that I have that, my 137 is a problem, so I need to take care of that. Again, I can take two, 120 of these minutes and I can move them and make those two degrees. So if I subtract the 120 and I add the two here, I still have my six seconds. This now will just be 17 minutes remaining and 108 plus two is gonna be 110. And so this is my simplified solution when multiplying degrees, minutes, and seconds together. And our final look is at division. And division can be tricky as long as you realize what you're actually dividing by before you start the problem. For the purposes of this class, degrees, minutes, and seconds with division, everything will work evenly. So keep that in mind as you're working through these problems. These will work evenly, and so we can use the tactics I'm about to show you for this. Now, when you're dividing, just like I mentioned earlier, you've got to divide all the pieces. So if I take 48 and divide it by 2, I get 24. 56 divided by 2 is 28, and 36 divided by 2 is 18. So a simple division of each of those terms is all you need to do. 
as for our second problem, the issue we have here is that these are odd numbers. And so when I divide by 2, I'm going to get a decimal. Go ahead and still do that, and we'll talk about what we have here. 59 divided by 2 is 29.5. 27 divided by 2 is 13.5. And 42 divided by 2 is a nice even 21. Now, when I look at my answer here, you cannot leave decimals in your degrees, minutes, and seconds. And so we're going to need to move these partial terms into a much smaller specific value. So if I 13.5, if I subtract half a minute, that's the same thing as 30 seconds. So I can take this half minute away and instead add it over here and make this 21 plus 30. So 21 plus 30 is going to be 51. Here I have then just plain old 13. And lastly, I have my 29.5 over here. I'm not still done yet. I need to do one additional thing. I need to take this 29.5 and move the half a degree over into my minutes. So half a, half a degree is going to be 30 minutes. And so when I add that together, I get 29 degrees. Here now I'm going to have 43 minutes. And lastly, I'm going to end with 51 seconds. This concludes the video on adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing with degrees, minutes, and seconds. Please take a look at the work that I've given you, and we'll continue to practice these over the course of the day today.